In this video, I'm going to explain why I've come to like accuracy scoring a lot better, especially in dynamic clicking. Accuracy scoring is when your total number of shots hit is divided by your total number of shots fired and then multiplied by your score to get your actual score. While the alternative to this would be reload scenarios, which are basically where your accuracy isn't taken into account in the scoring, but you're given a limited size magazine of bullets while you're playing the scenario. We also have to look into what the different kinds of dynamic clicking scenarios are. The first would be a scenario where you're playing it and the bots are insanely fast, insanely small, and you're really struggling to hit them. So you're not being really challenged by your pace, just the bot itself is challenging you. The opposite of this would be to play a dynamic scenario where you're just trying to aim as fast as possible. Your main focus is just speed and aiming at moving targets. The most common type of dynamic clicking scenario is a middle ground between these two where you're focused on acquiring the target and clicking on it precisely but also maintaining a high pace. The difference between this kind of scenario and the first kind of scenario is just your skill level and how difficult the bots are for you and the difference between this kind of scenario and the second kind of scenario is literally just how you choose to play it. For the first kind of scenario where no matter at what pace you aim at you still will struggle to hit the bot. You really just need to focus on hitting the target and trying to be precise and accurate and allowing yourself to make mistakes and miss it a lot, but still just always focusing on hitting every shot, even if a lot of them will miss. When these scenarios are scored on accuracy, you cannot make as many mistakes. You cannot treat making mistakes as a viable strategy. So you have to force yourself to learn to not make as many mistakes, which helps you improve at hitting that kind of target. If this is just scored on Reload, then a lot of times I'll be coaching people who will be running like Passu Extra Small Horizontal Reload and they'll just be spam clicking trying to hit the targets as much as possible without ever actually focusing on target acquisition and hitting the targets. Mistakes are very good and necessary to change your brain, but if you treat them as a viable aim strategy, then they're no longer mistakes. So my goal before the end of the summer is to hit 5,000 subscribers and I need your help to do it. So please, if you haven't already, just click that subscribe button. It's free. It's super easy. Just do it fast, please. So second, we have these middle ground bots where you're trying to aim at a good pace and also acquire the target. When these scenarios become reload, people start focusing more and more on speed and they kind of lose their aspect of adjusting onto the target and really focusing on trying to hit the target. And then if you make mistakes because of your pace, you make mistakes because of your pace. I find when these scenarios become reload scenarios, people will just move as fast as they can and click until they hit the target and just pray they hit the target. Even though you're making a lot of mistakes, you're not really putting a lot of focus on your ability to read the target and adjust onto it. You're just kind of spray and praying. This isn't a viable way to improve your ability to acquire the target and adjust onto it really effectively. Now, the only time you'd really want to use reload dynamic clicking is when you're training speed, just raw ability to move your arm really fast and just click onto the target by spam clicking a couple times. This is because your accuracy really isn't the focus here. It's just your ability to hit the target and flick between them. A good example of this would be WPV Multi Peak Ascent, a scenario that was really just designed to make people have to aim faster at difficult Valorant targets. We didn't use accuracy scoring making this because we didn't want people to get caught up on one bot trying to be perfect. We wanted people to just move faster through this scenario. However, in most cases, I do think it's very important to have some kind of negative reinforcement like you do in an accuracy based scenario that you don't in a reload scenario when you just get your bullets back right after a miss and it didn't matter. If you're disciplining yourself and really focusing on making sure you hit your shots, then really any scenario can be a reload scenario, but that doesn't make the scoring a very effective representation of your actual performance in most cases. And to be clear, when I say making sure you're hitting your shots, I mean trying to hit the target and actually focusing on it, not having an actual high accuracy. The difference is one is actually just being perfect and like never making mistakes and actually missing some shots, but focusing on hitting your shots is making mistakes and actually forcing your brain to improve. 
Also, reload scoring can make a lot of sense on scenarios like Popcorn, where there's drastic differences in difficulties, like when the targets are going up, they're a lot harder than they are right after their apex. So it can make sense to have reload-based scoring so that you're not severely punished for targeting targets that are coming up. Because you sometimes do have to go for unviable targets and you're more likely to hit targets out some points than others, this can create a lot more consistency in the scoring between runs. I also think it's worth noting that if you're focusing on hitting dynamic targets and you're really trying to aim fast and just land your flicks, then a lot of times a low health TS scenario can work better than a reload scenario. It's really a balance between where you should be doing reload, low health TS, and accuracy based. And usually accuracy based and low health target switching take up most of the scenarios, but I feel like there is a bit of wiggle room where reload falls into. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more aim training content.